the next project that we're gonna learn how to model is a Tel Aviv uh, residential complex by um, Panda Group. Now first uh, take a look at its pictures. It has uh, two types of plan generally, or we can say it has one type of plan, but it rotates. And we are looking at its pictures from different angles. To start uh, modeling this project, I would enter this plan or this plan into the software and I'd better uh, choose maybe this one or I drag that into the software. Okay. Okay, now I select it and here uh, from the material I increase the transparency okay and then I apply scale command for example from this point to this point I press shift so that the portal would be activated temporarily for me so this part is supposed to be 30 centimeters for me and since our unit is meter I have to type 3 tenth and I press enter and I lock the picture and I start drawing the lines around my work in doing so I can draw a line like this and I can continue it up to here. Now I uh, draw the last line again. Like this. Now I select the curves entirely and then I join them all. So it could be an integral uh, line. And now I have to draw the internal wall as well. And uh, as you can see in the picture, we have uh, some kind of protrusion here that sticks out. And uh, here we have a truss and the building itself. And it is more clear in uh, this picture. We need to uh, make this internal wall. In doing so here I select the curve and then I apply offset uh, with the help of a through point uh, from the options I make the offset to uh, this point I select the curves explode and then I start removing curves like this And I draw my line like this.
trim command I mirror it on this side and I apply trim command for it and I select the curves entirely uh, here I press Control J to join them What we should do now here is uh, making the floors. I select the outside curve and I type extrude curve or I select it from uh, my pop-up and I extrude as much as 3 tenth. And then I put the display mode on shaded I click on shade here and we see how the curve is made okay now I select it extrude again but this time I put solid option on yes like the way you can see here or uh, ghosted uh, state with pressing ctrl alt and g that I can see the bottom line here. I select the curve and I use gumball. I drag it up as much as C tenth and uh, with the help of extrude, uh, drag it up as much as four meters or three meters and 60 centimeters. And I'm done now with the first floor. The next level is to make these arcs. Make these arcs actually. We uh, need to make one of these arcs and then we can uh, reproduce it. And from the line options, I select vertical line from this part as much as 3 meters and 60 centimeters. I drag it up. Then I can use an interpolate curve that uh, one point. Okay, uh, now I press tab to lock the direction and then I click in the middle and to the end. I now select the curve and maybe I can move the control points here okay I apply move command from here okay to here and maybe I remove these control points okay I remove it again move from this point to this point, tab, this point is OK. And then I make a third curve. So one curve, one curve, and one curve. Can join all my curves. And then with the help of extrude command, I can give it a uh, like 35 centimeters of thickness So now I'm going to Select the part that I made I apply mirror command And I mirror it and I think I forget something here if you pay attention here we have uh, some sort of a box up here and then uh, these walls are connected to it. Before uh, this, I can uh, draw a rectangle here. Okay, as an example, I draw a rectangle 35 centimeters to uh, 35. I select it and I put the central point here and then extrude curve 3 meters and 60 centimeters and the curve that we were talking about should be changed based on this column since we already drew it we can apply 
scale one D and we we'll move it, move it from this part to here. And then extrude curve as much as uh, 35 centimeters and then mirror command like this and now here I am selecting these objects I press alt and I drag it down and I click on gumball minus one and then I move it and I stick it to this part like the way you see here and now I select this part and this part. I apply copy command. Example, it must be copy from here and I paste it here. Okay, now Alt 90 degrees and then I move it to this point. Again minus one then I move it here like you see and now I can unlock the picture and then I can hide it so that it couldn't disturb me so I can select all these I use copy okay it should come here and then I move it to this point I just make sure that it is in its own place and here I can rotate it as much as 90 degrees and then I can move it from the center okay from the center I can take it and move it here and uh, now I can uh, select all of these I apply mirror command and I mirror them okay like this and for all of these mirror command okay the way you can see here okay now let's take a look at the picture and I can uh, drag up the second curve as much as 30 centimeters and with the help of gumball I can extrude it as much as 8 tenth and here I use trim command to trim the work like this After uh, we are done with that, I uh, select the whole object or uh, before that I can select this and this. I group them and uh, I can send them to the same layer. Okay, like the white layer, I can send them there. And after that I use the uh, self curve command to sell my curves I send all the curves into the blue layer and I rename it as care and I turn it off one I think is left out it goes to the white layer I select all the objects the middle part would be separated and this part should get purple in some cases maybe we have a group of objects and we wanted to add up some more to them uh, we can uh, actually 
uh, use this option, add to the group, and then I select the objects that I want them to be added to the uh, group, and then it asks about the group, I introduce it, and now they are all in the same group. Okay, I select them all with the help of Gumball, I hold Alt, and as much as 30 meters and 90 centimeters, I brought it up. Each floor was 3 meters and 60 centimeters long and 30 centimeters for the thickness of the floor. And I enter 90 degrees here as well, like this. I press Ctrl H Shift. I add the floor to my work and this part should go up. 3 meters and 90 centimeters, like the way you see. Now uh, I'm going to select the whole object and the array linear command. And okay, let me see. 10 is good. And from here, it gotta go up and it's exact. Measure could be 3 meters and 90 centimeters. Times 2. Okay, our copy is done. And uh, I can go to the material part and give it a transparent um, blue uh, sort of thing to it. And from here, I select the object and I assign my material to the object okay like this and uh, there is a uh, gap here because uh, we consider the distance 3 meters and 60 centimeters while uh, we had uh, 30 centimeters for the thickness of the floor. So if you want to model, you have to consider the first column, 3 meters and 90 centimeters. Okay, now uh, we can here do more, like I activated care from here, and I bring it up as much as 80 centimeters, and I give it a 2 centimeters uh, pipe. We can also have some uh, bars or maybe uh, some frames here and in upcoming lessons we are going to learn how to add these sort of uh, details and it was just a uh, practice for uh, model making commands uh, like uh, extrude a surface and array linear or uh, rotate and with the help of those commands, we have been able to model such a tower. Don't forget to practice. Thanks for watching this episode and take care and goodbye.